simple little setup here that we're going to use to show you the calibration from water to mercury. I have a, just a gas collecting tube here and I'm going to add a certain amount of water in this tube. Okay. And what I do is I'm going to convert it into here and let it finish. Okay. Now, hopefully you can see it from there. The water level inside the tube is right here. And the water level inside the battery jar is down here. That means there's a gas pressure in here. There's air inside that tube. And there's also an atmospheric pressure pushing down on this water here. If I find the difference by simply measuring here, okay, I can measure the difference between the water level where atmospheric pressure is pushing and the water level inside this tube. And I'd want to do it in millimeters because eventually it's millimeters of mercury that I want. So here it's uh, 12 and it goes up to 42. And I'm just generalizing. So it's 42 minus 12 is 30 centimeters, but I need to change that to millimeters. So it's 300 millimeters of water. Here's a picture of a udiometer. It's a very similar pressure device to a U-tube manometer. It, it's a type of manometer again. This is just a U-tube, whereas this has one branch, so it's called a udiometer. Does the same thing. You can see here that we have atmospheric pressure. And let's just give it a value. Let's say it's 760 torr, just so it's easy. Okay. Now, we measured back there. We said that the difference between the udiometer level and the water level here was 300 millimeters of water. So right here, this difference is 300 millimeters. So now what we have to decide is in here is a gas, and in here, of course, is our liquid water. Which one has the greater pressure? Well, we have pushing here and pushing by the gas. And you can see that the atmospheric pressure is pushing down more and it's pushing the water up the tube. So the atmospheric pressure is greater than the gas pressure. And that means that to get the gas pressure, we would subtract the difference from 760. The problem is, this is not millimeters of mercury. If it was millimeters of mercury, all we'd have to do is say, take 300 millimeters of, of water, and we can factor label that into mercury. So we want millimeters of mercury, meaning we have to divide by millimeters of water. And the relationship, again, is mercury is a bigger unit, so it's a smaller number. Water is a smaller unit, so it has a bigger unit. 13.6 or 13.5 is the density difference. So we can literally divide 300 by 13.6, 22 millimeters of mercury, which is also equal to 22 torr which we have here. So all I got to do is take 760, subtract 22 torr, and I get 738 torr. That is the pressure of the gas. Notice it's less than the atmospheric pressure, and we've now done a pressure problem.